<laughs> Bo, what was it like out here today? It was nice. It was real electric. Uh, great competition with the running backs. Obviously, a new running back coach and Carlos at Ohio State. Kind of what's I know you've had a previous relationship with him at Oregon. What's it kind of been like so far since he's been at Ohio State? Uh, he's been good. We've been talking to him probably every other day. It's just been nice, nice relationship. Uh, when you guys talk, what do you really talk about? What does he kind of bring up to you? Uh, no, it's just casual talk. Just saying how they going, how we going, what I got going on. When, uh, when he was at Oregon, how much of a relationship did you have with him, and has, has that really changed at all since he came to Ohio State? Uh, no, I had, I had a really good uh, relationship with him while he was at Oregon State, but it's picked up a little more since he got out of it. Right. It, has, how has his like, recruiting pitch changed? Like what, like, what has changed about the way that he talks to you? Or has anything changed about that? Nothing has changed. Right. What, what do you make of Coach Long? I mean, he's a pretty intense guy, right? Like, yeah. what, is your, uh, what was your kind of first read about him? Um, I like that. Right now, I got to run back as really intense, too. Yeah. Back as really intense. Do you have an official visit set to Ohio State yet? Uh, no, not yet. I don't have no Do you uh, plan or consider not taking one to Ohio State sometime yeah. this summer? Yeah, I'm Do you have uh, any sort of decision timeline on mind uh, when you'd like to make a commitment? Uh, I'm trying to go for what, uh, what, what, what? Besides Ohio State, what are some other programs that are really standing out to you right now? Uh, Georgia, Tennessee, uh, Dale, Staying in the Midwest isn't necessarily a deal breaker for you. So I think you're willing to go there. Um, I don't know if Carlos has gotten into this with you or not, but how has he kind of told you or Brian Day or whoever how you'd be used at Ohio State, whether it be you know running back or out of the slot or linebacker or however? How have they kind of said that they'd like to use you? Well, oh, they said with the New Orleans coordinator, they go get the ball back a lot of the backfield, throwing the ball, running the ball, everything. Have you talked to Chip Kelly at all? Yes, I did. What, what's that relationship like with, with you and Chip? Uh, it's good. It was good. I had a good talk with him, me and my parents. Cool to have uh, a coach like Chip Kelly, who's kind of you know pretty famous for his running styles. And, uh, yeah. what, what I mean, when you talk to him, what stands out to you about you know maybe the way that the running game could be evolved with Chip Kelly? Uh, the way they, the way he got everything set up, the block is and everything. Like, I feel like everything on him opened up, everything spaced out. Are you old enough to remember Chip Kelly at Oregon? Do you remember the Oregon teams or, you know, from 2010? Um, obviously, you and Jordan Davidson, big targets for Ohio State. Have you spoken to Jordan at all or anything like that? Uh, he was there when I went to my first spring visit at Ohio State. Uh, did you guys get a chance to talk or anything like that? Yeah. What uh, What'd you think of him? What'd you guys talk about? He's cool. I like Jordan. Travion and Quinchon, do you have a relationship with guys that are on the roster right now? Have you been talking to them at all? Uh, not really outside of when I'm there, but when I when I uh, when I was there, I got to talk with them. I'm curious, being an Ohio kid, do, do you feel the pressure of, of people wanting you to go to Ohio State? People kind of saying you should be in state. Like, do you feel that pressure at all? Uh, nah. Yeah. Nah, I'm not feeling pressure. What would be the most appealing thing about potentially playing for Ohio State? Uh, they win the program. They compete in the championships.